Okay, so today I'm gonna to start with my shirt, keeping it incredible. I thought I would start there today, because you know, things are the way they are, and here we are, and for today, I wanna to start with keeping it incredible. I know you are. Um, so today I thought we'd do a little bit of a review on our book, One and Only Ivan. Um, so I thought I would start with setting and characters, just a little bit of a review. So let's start with the setting. Hopefully you're following along. I don't know if this is something that you want to follow along with, but we'll do it anyway. Um, so the setting is the Big Top Mall. So that is where Ivan lives and Stella and who else lives there? Oh, I know, Bob, Bob the dog. Um, so we're gonna talk about the characters, some of the characters that we've met so far, and maybe a little bit of character traits, some of how they look, and some of, you know, just the internal character traits that they have. So we'll start with Ivan. So if you're, you have Ivan, think of what you think about Ivan, and I'll tell you what I've come up with about Ivan, and maybe we can just compare you can compare what you have to what I have. So Ivan is the gorilla. Um, he's in the big top mall behind glass and he has glass on three sides, right? So he can look out at the mall and he can look out the window, um, I think. And then he has a crack in the corner um, that he made with a baseball bat. And then Mac, He's the guy who is in charge of Ivan and the other animals at the Big Top Mall. Um, he's a businessman. Um, he does take care of them, but he expects them to draw people into the mall. And so people want to come to the mall and see the amazing animals that he has. But let's get back to Ivan. Um, so Ivan is a gorilla. He's black mostly, but he has silver on his back. That's one thing about gorillas. Um, the big gorillas are called silverbacks. Um, he has really long arms because he always talks about how he walks on his knuckles. Um, he's very strong and powerful. But a couple of times they mentioned lonely because he's not around any gorillas. So we talk about what he looks like, but now how he's feeling. He feels lonely. He does have a couple of friends. Um, other people look at him and feel like he looks sad. And maybe he is, because he can't be with gorillas like him. Um, and then there's Mac. He's the guy that's you know in charge, the businessman in charge of them all. Um, we talked about him a little bit. Um, and then there's Stella, the elephant. And in the conversation between Stella, all right, she's an elephant, so she has a long trunk. Um, I know that Ivan feels it's really cool that she could pick up the littlest things with her trunk. And in the story, when they're talking about things, Stella remembers everything. And that's something that people always say, an elephant never forgets. She has a really good memory. Um, she's behind bars. Um and then there's another character that we just met, Bob. Bob is a dog who was thrown out by his owners with his siblings. And he, sorry, I have to fix my glasses, fell into a ditch and he was cold. And But he ended up at the mall where he could find some food and some shelter. And he doesn't trust humans, so he doesn't go around people very often. Um, and then, so he's a survivor, he's brave, um, he's very fast, he has big ears, so those are some of the character traits of Bob. And then there's George the custodian, he's the one who just goes around and cleans them all at night. And Julia, who is the daughter of George, and she comes to the mall with him while he cleans because his, her mom is not well. So her mom is sick. So she comes with her dad, and he won't let her help him. So she hangs out with Ivan, and she um, does her homework, and she talks to Ivan about her day and everything that's going on with her life. And then she draws pictures, 
And one of the things Mac has Ivan do is draw pictures. So um, they have something in common. So Mac will give him a crayon and he'll draw a picture of something. So he gave him a yellow crayon. So of course, a gorilla, he draws pictures of bananas. Um, then he got the black crayon. Think about what he drew there. Do you remember? He drew a picture of a beetle because the beetle had come into his his domain. He calls it his domain. It's the room that he lives in. And it's cement and it has some things painted on the wall, but it's not real warm and fuzzy, cozy. Um, okay, so Julia has black hair. So we'll talk about a little bit what, what she looked like. She has black hair. He had a very interesting way of describing her really black, shiny hair. Um, so she reads her books, she talks to him, and she's very kind. You know, she, she sees Ivan, I think, kind of as her friend. You let me know what you think about that. And so I think that's it. We did the setting. Now, the problem, what do you think the problem is? I think the problem is animals don't really belong in a mall. That's what I think. And so really a gorilla should be either in a zoo or with other gorillas or elephants like poor Stella. You know, Stella hurt her leg when she was in the circus. That's right. She was a circus animal. And um, so, you know, they're in a, a cement building when they could be out with other animals like them, other elephants and other gorillas. And so, and Bob the dog, he runs away from people, but he'll come up and sit by Julia and um, he's warming up to her, I think. So that's it. I think that kind of covers everything. Um, I hope you're doing well and I'll read some more of the book coming up real soon, like in a few minutes. Okay.